Pop Linux is the latest and the greatest, but we're looking at it on a machine that's not the latest and the greatest. I think it's from 2013, 2014. So here it is on the Asus. Um, it's kind of exciting uh, just to have it, and I'll talk about this in a later video, but uh, Pop Linux is the first one that I've seen that actually feels like its own thing and not a copy of Windows or something else, though. To be fair, maybe Ubuntu qualifies, maybe even Mint, which used to be on this machine. So here's how it looks. Here's your activities, and then you've got uh, your browser and thing. The apps are over here. Um, so it's kind of neat to watch everything. Um, as far as being a developer goes, definitely an amateur. I've made exactly one app. I have not um, uploaded it though, so no one's seen it. Um, but this is fun to play with. It And on this machine, it does not do well with the Wi-Fi. It runs for a while and then dies. The other thing I haven't been able to get to work is the Pop Shop. That is their version of the App Store or Google Play, as the case may be. Um, Linux is supposed to be free. It has a community. This download was free, but... Um, Still, it has, you know, something similar to what Apple pioneered, or at least I think they did. In the past, I've tried to put Steam on here, and it's never worked, so we'll see if we can do it today. Um, so there's different ways to install. There's this, it says Pop! OS Deb, which uh, didn't work before, so I'll try the other one. So we'll try Flatpak, which you can see. I'll we'll click on install. Right now it is um, connected to the ethernet. This Wi-Fi was something of a non-starter. We'll see if it works. Um, as far as the Wi-Fi goes, the documentation does have a lot of things for what to do with your Wi-Fi. If it's a newer setup and not an older one that's older than this computer that we have but um but anyway it's worth uh i think it's worth putting on an old computer this is uh, pop os 20.10 so it is the latest and this looks like it is installing um if you look at it it says that it um it does go on um, anyway, so we're almost done. Yeah, normally this OS is on much newer machines than System76 cells. So we'll take a closer look at the Steam screen and see what's coming up, the store with the library, the community, all that stuff that doesn't oh, quite focus, but we'll see. This is being recorded with a phone so you can see the outside of the computer and also because I haven't figured out screen recording yet. So, oh, there we are, open, wow. So, so we'll open it. See what happens here. See if it works. Ah, there we are. Pins potentially out of date, rebuilding. Oh well, yeah, I think everything here is out of date, but we'll see. Don't know what a pin is. Um, Pop OS is made for, you know, real hardcore developers who need Linux for their work. Um, I think it's made so much for people who like to play around. So here you can see the 
the updates coming in. I always thought it was odd that something would download and then instantly need an update, but here we are. So you can watch the numbers go. And we're extracting the package. This uh, OS comes with encryption, so you have to put in two different passwords to get things open. Uh, they put on encryption because it's a feature of it. Um, there's nothing here that anyone would want or need to see or make money from. Forcing rebuild of pins. Oh well. Let's see if this ultimately works. Oh, we're up to six minutes. So it looks like, looks like we've got some more artwork here. Absolute Drift. No, it's the same stuff. Slay the Spire. That could be interesting. Ah, there we are. So, looks like everything's done. Okay, so, so Steam is working. So now you have to create a new account or log into an existing one. This will be where I will let it go. And uh, we'll go off so we can just see the install. Let's see if it comes up in all the apps. Let's see here. Show applications. And there it is. There's Steam. It was successfully installed. Oh, I just opened Gary. I don't even know what that is. Uh, oh, it's for email. Okay. So yeah, select an email provider below. Okay. So now we'll... we'll Move up here and you can see how it is. Turning it off. Power off. Okay, so so that is Pop OS.